Hello there, welcome to Tiny Elephant. In this video, we're going to be making this coaster. So grab your favorite hook, let's get right into it. We're going to start by making a magic ring. To create the magic ring, I prefer to wrap the yarn around my fingers twice. Insert the hook, pull through a loop. And chain one right away. For the single crochet stitch, you will chain one at the beginning of the round. Typically, this chain one does not count as a stitch, meaning your first single crochet will be the very first stitch. I'm going to work six single crochets into the ring. So here we are, we've reached 6 single crochets. Now let's tighten the ring. So you'll have your yarn tail and 2 loops on the inside of the work. To identify which loop needs tightening, gently and slowly pull on your tail. Observe which strand of the double magic ring moves. Once we identify the moving strand, we firmly pull it to close the inner circle. Then, pull the tail nice and tight. Like this, with double loops, the magic ring doesn't loosen up. To finish the round one, work a slip stitch to that first single crochet stitch of the round. So for round 2, we are going to make a round of modified cluster stitches. To do that, chain 1 as the beginning chain, it counts as an unfinished stitch. Yarn over. Insert the hook into the same stitch, and we are going to be working over the top of our tail. Same stitch, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through 2 loops. Yarn over again. Pull through last two loops. Chain 1. Then in the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Three loops on the hook, yarn over again, pull up a loop. Five loops on the hook, so we've done two incomplete half double crochets. Yarn over, pull through four loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. It's a modified half double crochet cluster stitch. Chain 1. Next stitch, still, make a modified cluster. Chain 1, and then one more modified cluster. Chain 1 additionally. We will do that in each stitch. So 6 groups of them. Go ahead and I will meet you back when I get to the end of this round.
To finish this round, join to the first cluster stitch. And I would place a stitch marker in this working loop, because it will be needed for later. And leave the working yarn behind our work. For next round I'm going to change the color. Round number 3. Insert the hook into the chain 1 space. Chain 4. That chain 4 is going to represent the first double crochet and the chain 1 space. Make one more double crochet in the same space, then chain 1. We will do that in each space. So double crochet. Chain 1. Double crochet once more. Chain 1 again. Keep going until the end of this round. Join to the third chain of our beginning chain. Next round, we will make it bigger. Chain 3, which counts as a double crochet. In the chain 1 space between those two double crochets, work a double crochet. Chain 1, and one more double crochet. Then in the top of the next double crochet stitch, work a double crochet. Then chain 1. It's our first group. We will make that 11 more times. So double crochet in the next stitch. Then jump into the chain 1 space, double crochet. Chain 1, double crochet in there. In the next double crochet stitch, work a double crochet, then chain 1. Second group. Simply repeat that until the end of this round. Join to the third chain. The pattern of next round is similar as this round. We must just be careful where to insert the hook. We will start at next stitch, so make a slip stitch to reach it. Chain 3, again, it counts as a double crochet. Then in the chain 1 space, Still, work a double crochet stitch, chain 1, and a double crochet. Then in the next stitch, make a double crochet. Chain 1 additionally. Like this, move to next group. Skip the next double crochet stitch, work a double crochet in the next stitch. Then into chain 1 space, double crochet. Chain 1, and double crochet. Next stitch, a double crochet. And chain 1. So you can see, we leave this two stitches on the both edges unworked. 
And now just repeat that until the end. Join to the third chain. We could cut the yarn now. Take the blue loop again. Now we are going to edge the pattern. Insert the hook. Yarn over behind our work. Pull through a loop to chain a stitch. Insert the hook into this hole above. Make a chain. Work over the chain one above this time. Then insert the hook into the same hole again. Chain one in this upper hole. Then chain one over upper chain one. One more regular chain. Then last chain, crochet over the upper chain again. We should have six chains here. Now to left, work one single crochet in the first double crochet stitch. Then follow two single crochets in the next stitch. And one single crochet in the chain one space. Two single crochets in the next double crochet stitch. Then followed by one single crochet in the next. Now turn the work a little bit. Again, chain one over the chain. Chain one normally. Then over the chain. One regular chain. Over the chain again. Then a regular chain one. Make a slip stitch to the cluster stitch. Then turn the work. Going up again. Six chains. seven single crochets like this work all the way through
slip stitch to finish it. Cut the yarn and weave in the ends. Our coaster is finished.